Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sumit and today I'm going to start a new tutorial series. And this tutorial series is mainly for the Tableau desktop. Uh, you might be knowing that Tableau desktop is one of the oldest data visualization tool in, in the industry. And still many of the companies, they will be using Tableau desktop. Although the Tableau CRM version has also been released in 2019, and but still many companies, they are still using Tableau desktop in, within their offering. And in last couple of few days, in most of the projects I'm going to work with, so the most commonly request I receive from my client that they would like to present, they would like to do the calculations on YTD, MTD, QTD in Tableau, and they would like to display that on their dashboards. So therefore I decided that why not to share my knowledge, my learning or my experience on uh, how do we do the calculations YTD, MTD, QTD in Tableau with all of you guys. So let's begin. And before I begin this, video before I before I begin this uh, tutorial, this series. So don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will not miss the updates about the latest videos. So before we begin, two things you require. Number one, you have you should have the Tableau desktop installed. Now, if you are if you'll be using user using a Tableau desktop professional version, well and good. Otherwise, if you want to try it at your end, so you can go for Tableau public also. And the second is obviously the database because the you should have the database for the calculation purpose. Then only we'll have to, then only we can do the calculations. Now, al although this looks very simple, YTD, what is YTD, what is MTD, QTD, a lot of tutorials are available. So, Let's see, I'll show you practically how do we do that. How do we practically implement or to calculate YTD, MTD, QTD in Salesforce. So before we begin, before we setting up the YTD or MTD or QTD, the most important thing is the database. The data set, because you know that for every requirement, the data set will be different and every reporting needs will be different. So based on your reporting, based on your need, we'll be doing this calculation. So I already got a data set with me, which contains the data for the current year and including the last three years of data. I will be using the sales data set order. I will share the link for the data set in the description below. You can use that before in order to practice this, in order to test it. So here is my Tableau instance, Tableau desktop instance. And in this Tableau desktop instance, I will be using the orders table, order data set. This order data set, it contains almost 21 fields or 21 columns, you can say, with 9,993 records. And it contains the data for last three years, including current years, because in order to do the calculations on YTD, MTD, QTD, it is very important that we should have the current data also. Then only we can easily the calculation. So let's see how can we do the calculation for YTD. And for this, I'll just create a new sheet. And let me rename the sheet as YTD calculation. And in order to do the YTD calculation, I just wanted to, uh, I need to create a calculated field. So I just click on calculated field. I click on create calculated field. And I rename this as YTD sales. I got a sales column here. I just I just got a sales measure and I just want to calculate YTD sales. And, and also we used to have the orders date field also. And uh, okay, so before I begin with this, let me show the data which contains. So I got the year, four years of data, 20, 21, 22, and 23. And if I just look at the sales, I drag and drop the sales. So that's the four years of sales I got here. I got here four years of sales. This is my four years of sales. And as for the requirement, I need to go for the YTD calculation and for YTD calculations year to date. So what exactly do we mean by YTD first? Let's try to understand. So YTD basically it refers to the period of the time beginning the first day of the current calendar year or the fiscal year up to the current data. 
current date, you can say. YTD information is useful for analyzing business trend over time or comparing the performance date data to competitors. So this is mainly used for the uh, comparison purpose to the beginning of the time, beginning of the beginning of the current year or the current fiscal year and till today's date, till current date. That is that refers to YTD. So let's see how do we do a YTD calculations in W. And for this, I'm just going to create a calculated field and I label this as YTD sales. YTD sales and this will be going to create a separate measure for us, YTD sales. Now, uh, the, the formula will be, the the, 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 the the formula we have to write here that we have to figure it out whether the order date, it should be equals to the current year for the today's date. So therefore, I just write here that if, year of order date order date that should be equals to the year of the current date and for current current date basically today now what does that that, that what does that mean this means this is going to calculate the order date should be equivalent to the uh, the it, it should be equivalent to the same year for the current date and now for the current date is 20 August 20 October 2023 and this will be going to fetch 2023 from here so from this order date it will fetch 20, it will be fetch the data only for the 2023 years and and the order date that should be less than equals to today it should not be greater than equals to today if this condition will be satisfied then we would just want it to show sales and this is the YTD calculations. Click on OK. And if I just convert this to a tabular data, if I just present this data in a tabular form, let's say this is, and you can see this YTD sales, I'm getting only for the current year YTD sale. And this will be showing data only for, uh, this will be showing, this will be showing data from the 1st January 2023 till 20 August, 20 October, 2023. Today is 20 October. So till 20 October, 2023. This is YTD calculation. Okay, this is YTD calculation. And you can see there is no calculation for the year 2020, 21 and 2023. This is YTD calculation. Now, if we want to go, let's, okay, so I hope it's clear to you everyone, this YTD. Now let's see what exactly QTD. So QTD stands for quarter to date calculation. And what is a QTD? It's a period starting at the beginning of the current quarter and ending the current date, ending at the current date. This is important to understand that it will start at the beginning of the current quarter and ending at the current date. And it will be, uh, it is used to record the result of an activity in the time between the date and the beginning of either the calendar or the fiscal quarter. Depends on the requirement, but the mainly it is used to calculate uh, it used to do the calculations to uh, at the beginning of the current quarter and ending at the current date. That is called QTD. So let's see how do we a QTD calculation and what formula we have to write for that. And for this, I will be going to add a new sheet. Let's add a new sheet and I label this as QTD. Sorry, is that QTD calculation? And how do we have QTD calculation? So in order to do a QTD calculation, so in order to do a QTD calculation, what we'll do, again, I'm going to add a calculated field. Before that, let me drag and drop the order date. And when we can expand this, we can see quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four data, and I can see sales. We can see the sales. Now let's add the QTD calculation. I just write here QTD sales, QTD sales. And now the formula will be like if, now we have to find out the quarter date and quarter should be the current quarter. Current, it should be current quarter. It should not be previous quarter or next quarter. That should be current quarter. For example, we will be, at the, we will be in the fourth quarter of a year. So therefore the calculation will be from the 1st of October Till today because usually what happened we used to have four quarters of data as you can see quarter one quarter two quarter three quarter four and if we divide these four quarters so quarter one will be from uh, january this will be from january till march this will be till from january till march 
let me write it in a proper way so that you guys can understand that very well. So this quarter one refers, or I'll just write it here actually. Yeah. So quarter one, it refers from January, February, and March data. Then quarter two data will be April, May, and June data. Then quarter three will be July, August, and September data. And quarter Quarter 4 or Q4 will be October, November, and December. So at present, we are in quarter 4. And when we say QTD, so the calculation will be first of the current quarter. Current quarter is the fourth quarter. So first of October till today. And today's whatever is the date, today is 20th October. So till 20th October. So this will be doing, this will calculate the result only for the previous, uh, the, the current, uh, the, the current and the previous 19 years. That's the QTD calculation. And in order to do this, we need to write a formula here. So I just write the calculation. If date diff, date diff, and I just want to calculate basically date diff. And I just wanted to find out the difference of quarter, quarter, comma, order date, comma, today. If it equals, if it equals to zero, and and the order date that should be less than equals to today then same we'll just want to fetch the sales and we just end it this is our qtd calculation okay and uh, let's place it here qtd sales and i just place this qtd sales you can see we'll be getting the quarter, we'll be getting the sales for only for quarter four data here, QTD sales. And if I further expand this QTD, if I further try to expand this, so you can see only for the October data. And if I just further expand for the October, so you can see for the October, we have January, February, October. And in the October date, uh, on the October, it will be going to calculate data only for, uh, only for that particular month. So QTD for 2023. So calculation will be only for the current year, 2023. You can see here till 20th October. Just have a look, the calculation. So the calculation will be from 1st of October till 20th October. There will be no calculation after 20th October. This is the way it calculates the QTD calculations. Now, the next calculation will be, let's talk about the next calculation. And the next calculation we have is the MTD. That is called month to date. And what is month to date? Month to date is a period starting at the beginning of the current calendar month and ending at the current date. And it is also used in many contexts, mainly for recording result of an activity in the time between a date and the beginning of the current month. So let's see, let's have a look. How do we do the calculations for the current month? And the current month of Q, the MTD calculation is somehow equivalent to the QTD. Only the, instead of quarter, we will be using month. So let's check it out. How do we do that? And for this, uh, let's add the calculation here only. I can just replay, I can just rename it and just say QTD and MTD. Let's say QTD and MTD calculation. And in order to do the MTD calculation, I just create a calculated field. I just write MTD sales. And the formula will be like if date diff. And I just, we would, we just want to find out the difference of month, comma, order date, comma, today, if it is equals to zero and the order date, that should be less than equals to today then sales end. So the calculation will be done only for the current month till today. That is MTD calculation, okay? And let's place this MTD calculation here and you can see the MTD calculation because we are in the current month and the current month till today, it's equivalent to same. Obviously it's not will be equivalent to the QTD because at, at this moment we are in the fourth quarter of the data and this is the beginning of the fourth quarter. So that's why the YTD and uh, sorry, the QTD and the MTD calculations will be same. But if you check, if you check this uh, formula in the next month, in the month of November, then the QTD calculation and MTD calculation will be totally different. 
So that's how the QTD and MTD calculation will be performed, will be calculated in the tab D. So I hope this gives you a clear idea about QTD, YTD, MTD, and QTD calculations. If you have any questions, if you have any queries, you can write to us. You can reach out to us on the given numbers on the uh, by you, on our mail IDs, or you can visit our website for more updates. You can post your comments in comment below. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye, everyone.